So this is my interview with uh, Father Ben Epcas. He's the Paris priest of uh, Our Lady of Assumption Church on Bathurst in uh, Toronto. Here's Father Epcas. Yes, uh, our greetings to all our parishioners and happy feast day of Our Lady of Assumption as well as our 60th Paris Foundation anniversary. The church, actually, the building was built in 1951 by the Redemptorist Fathers, who stayed until 1995. But originally, the church of Paris was erected sometime in 1947-48. And then uh, the three priests were assigned here. Uh, after that, the Redemptorists came in in 1951 and they built the church. That's why we are celebrating the 60th anniversary. And then we have now the Filipino community in this parish. So there are two parishes in one church. The territorial parish is our Lady of the Assumption Church, and the ethnic parish is the Filipino Catholic Mission. So we are dealing with thousands, thousands of Filipinos who come here every weekend. In fact, we have a 5 p.m. Tagalog Mass every Sunday. And our church is back on Wednesdays as well. So since when did you have this... Uh Filipino masses. Yeah, the Filipino masses started in 2008 here uh, regularly. Uh, this was also held in the Blessed John the 23rd Church in Flemingdale and then moved here because we needed more space so from a Filipino chaplaincy to a much broader uh, Filipino mission. So it's now three years since we arrived here. beginning of the existence of this parish, it was really a pretty mix of uh, different cultures. And then gradually, uh, cultures, uh, some cultures have become minority somehow, and bigger groups became the majority. So there were also the, the African mission here in the past, run by the White Fathers. And then finally, the, the Filipinos in the area uh, became regular parishioners. But it's only in 2008, August 2008, that uh, the Archdiocese has made this as the center of the Filipino Catholic community over the GTA. That's why Filipinos GTA is uh, Greater Toronto Area. Yeah, okay. And the Archdiocese of Toronto. And even as far as Burlington, they come here as far as Hoshua because they know that uh, this is now the center of the Filipino Catholic community. And we are very glad that the Filipinos are coming and we celebrate our, our traditional Filipino fiestas back home. We celebrate them here, as big as the Santo Nino or the Sinulog, as big as the Atia Tihan, the Peña Francia, the Nazareno, and many, many fiestas here. So we celebrate it here. So how big is the Filipino community uh, within your parish? Within the parish, uh, the Filipino community comprises about 80 to 85 percent. But now that uh, it's not just the jurisdiction of the parish of Our Lady of Assumption, it goes beyond because this is uh, the uh, Filipino Health Catholic Community Center. We are looking at thousands. In fact, the registration has quadrupled from uh, 2008 to 2011. Our population has quadrupled in terms of attendance. So what is the significance of this 60th anniversary uh, on the Filipino community within your parish? Yeah, the significance is that we are happy to be a part of the celebration even if we're just here for three years. But many Filipinos were already here before the 2008 transfer of the Filipino chaplaincy to the Filipino Catholic Mission. Many Filipinos were already here. So they are, they are really a part, a major part of the history of this parish. Uh, Father, can you explain the meaning of the transfer of the cha chaplain C to the Filipino? Yeah, there was an assessment, pastoral assessment, made by the uh, Filipino chaplaincy that was headed by Father Rudy Imperial and then Father Mark. It was during the time of Father Mark that they did a realistic assessment that we need more space because that church there, in Blessed John the 23rd, is not really a purely Catholic church. There is another congregation, denomination, I mean, sharing the same building. So they needed more space because the population of Filipinos has really grown leaps and bounds. We need more space to celebrate our Filipino religious traditions. And this is the perfect place because this, in terms of accessibility, we have the subway, we have the buses, perfect. And our parking area is bigger than some other churches. We are very lucky. So how many times do you, do you conduct your masses in Filipino? We have a regular Filipino Mass on Sunday at 5 p.m. and the 7.15 p.m. is in English because we are addressing Filipinos who are working uh, even on Sundays but they come home late at night on, on Sunday. 
but we have fiesta celebrations as well in Filipino. We have the Peña Francia, they say sometimes in, in Biculano, some masses in Cebuano, some masses in, in uh, Ware Ware. So those groups that would like to have their own masses in their dialect request us to do that. And we do entertain those things. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome, God bless you and happy feast day and thank you for coming to our feast day.